Uh, so I've been on YouTube trying to figure out how to fit a aux cable into the BMW X5 E53, which we are sitting in right now. Um, I don't know if this is actually possible. I've seen people doing it in E39s and I don't even know what I've seen it in, but similar models. So I'm just hoping I'm gonna pull everything apart and I'm gonna be able to fit this aux cable and maybe try and put it down through here. I don't care where it comes out as long as I can use it. So far, I mean, if you're doing this for sure and obviously get some um, removal tools so you don't scrape up your shit. Uh, I removed this panel first, but I don't think I needed to. Because I've seen older models where they've removed this panel and the panel that runs along the behind the steering wheel. I don't think I needed to do that. But, yeah, no, I really don't think I did. This was easy enough. If you buy a four pack of these, it makes life a lot easier because once you get one edge out, you can hold that in. That'll hold in, that'll hold that side. And then you can pop the other side with the other, um, using another one. Videos I've seen did not warn me of the fuse. So I need to take the fuse out for the radio once I pop it up, which I'm going to go do now. It's a bit tricky though. See, I didn't even know the f there was fuses under here. I've got my hand. You've got to put your hand. There's two. I nearly ripped the thing off. There's actually two claps, clips. One on each side. So I'm going to need to do it two-handed. I don't know whether it's a push or pull mechanism. But I will report so that. I couldn't find the fuse in the glove box. And then I was thinking of going and getting the fuses out of the boot. And then I thought, eh, let's just push on like any idiot. <laughs> plans to do and unscrewed and I've pulled this out now let's get this here so look there's the end now I'm guessing this this is all guesswork for me I haven't seen anyone or found information on how to do this so um, forgive me but let's just hope it all works so at the end of this BMW aux cable see this little connection here it's like a square thingy that takes a little slippy thingy now, when I pulled this out, um, I think it's a T10. I mean, yeah, you should really... I've got a little... Uh, yeah, I think there's like $10, $15 on eBay. And it just gives you every single... This is an amazing little kit. And it comes with two... Like a little... This is essential. Because I have. I didn't need... A lot of people hit the, uh, the old eject button and pull the TV screen up. But I didn't need to do that because I had this. So I just wedged this in there. Uh, uh, got them all unscrewed, mate. And then this one for heavy duty. But still, that's a relatively thin um, little screwdriver, which is uh, multi-ended. But anyway, once we pull this out... Oh, God, that didn't sound good. Uh, see that little wire there? See that? That looks like that collapses right into the end of the old ox that I just showed you. Okay, this is not clear. There, yeah, there, because I'm holding this. <laughs> okay, so I was, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just connect that up, try and feed it through um, my dash here. And hope the hell everything works. Turn the car on and then get back to you whether it all worked. It can't be that easy, surely. Nothing's ever that easy. But maybe it is. Right, see Okay. You. I'm out of breath. i literally just done this. This was like needle through a haystack, folks. So what I've done is I've delicately taken the whole radio out and sideswiped it so it's steadied. It's kind of just... I've um, kind of wedged it using... The, uh, that's probably not a good idea, but hey, it's working. And then what I've done is I've dropped this aux cable. So here's the end of the aux, which I'm guessing that 
clips in too. Yeah, you feel me? You feel me? This all looks good. And then I've dropped the ox cable down into the gullet of the beast. And then I've spotted, there's a little hole in your glove, in your smoking bay, once you pull your smoking bay out. So what I did is I dropped it and fiddled it until I could see the little silver gleam down there within the hole. And then once I've seen that, using, um, well I tried this, I thought this would be great, that did not work. I used two tools and tweezered it with these two very delicately and just pulled it and thread it through and up into here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, um, with the smoking, the old smoking bear here, there is a hole to the side that was previously covered with a white plastic thing which I've ripped off. So I'm gonna feed my ox into that, into the side there, and then this, I'm sure that's probably used for butts, but whoever uses, or maybe, no, yeah, that's for butts, but, like, whoever, whatever, I'm gonna file that down a bit more, the bottom hole, and I'm gonna feed it up through that hole, so that will be the ox, um, if everything works. All right, goodbye, I need to feed it and test this motherfucker. Yeah, so that was actually incredibly simple. Yeah, it's all worked. Um, I've tested it. I can't test it on this phone because I'm filming on this phone. But yeah, I plugged it in and I hit mode a few times, went through to aux and Bob was your uncle, sir. Blasting clear MP3 music through my stereos. Um, now all I'm going to do is file down that uh, little connection, the little cigarette butt in there. Oh, we can do away with you, sir. You sir do not longer need to be because I was I was using one of these radio didgeridoos. You know, you pick up the radio signal for your phone so you can play your shit. But now life has got a little bit easier. Next is to install the cameras and some new leather. Maybe I bought some new leathers for here and here. That's a new. Um, whatever you call it, the old one. Oh, that was a bitch to take off. That was a bit, I think I broke the old one and taken it off. But my old one was getting a bit shitty. The leather was wearing or the plastics. And that looks a bit nicer. It is bigger, so if, yeah, it is a lot bigger, but I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I want a spring for the new, it's like an 800 to one thirteen hundred dollar. I'm digressing. All right, fucking it works. Uh, X5. I'll do it all in the description because I don't. Right now I'm so stoned, I'm so high, my brain's not working. But yeah, E53 X5. This is 2005 or is it 2006? It's one of those models. It's near the end of the run, but she works, people. Get your ox. It's actually a lot simpler than these videos. Well, there is no videos on it, but videos with other people's cars. The reason there is no videos is because it is so bloody easy, obviously. So I'm just a fucking idiot. But if you're watching this video and you didn't know how to do it, you're with me. And you're an idiot too. So there you go. Just know that all you need to do is pull that fucking thing open with some of these fucking... Get these. For sure get these. You do not want to destroy your car. Get these. A screwdriver set and your BMW, which I got. Shop around for your BMW cord, because BMW is selling it for like 70 or 80 bucks, but then I went on eBay. I mean, it took China a while to get it to me. It probably took fucking two, three weeks, but I paid $14 or $11 or something, so I'll wait. I can wait. I waited, and I'm happy. Everything works. Everything works. We are happy. We are happy. All right, seeing you.